alaikum and a good day to all. This video is for introduction to civil engineering video projects. First of all, let me introduce our delicate team members. Me, myself, Anis, Fatin Alia, Shaza Amanina, Muhammad Kusheri, and Muhammad Razi. For K2S1, we have to do two assignments, which is the environmental and transportation engineering assignment. For environmental assignment, we have to inspect water system in our home, while for the transportation, we have to give suggestion on how to improve traffic and road system around civil engineering faculty. Other teams, they have to do another assignment, which is the hydraulics and hydrology assignment and the structural engineering assignments. For hydraulics assignments, they have to investigate the coastal erosion happened around Sungai Kelantan while for the structural engineering, they have to calculate the weight of the building that has been chosen. There are four types of subfield in civil engineering. The first is the structural engineering. This field covers the detailed knowledge on applied mechanics, material science and applied mathematics to understand and predict how the structure support and resist self-weight and impose loads. Some more, they also contribute in creating a building that can face any types of natural disaster such as floods and earthquake. The second subfield is the environmental engineering. They are responsible in creating a building that is environmental friendly and less pollution. The third subfield is hydraulic and hydrology. This field is focusing on water resources engineering and look on caustic erosion and heat mitigations. Let me tell first what is water resources engineering. Water resources engineering is responsible in analyzing and designing the system of structure to control water in terms of quality of water, quantity of water, the timing for water supply and distribution of water, and fulfill the needs of humans and environment. In coastal zone, there is coastal erosion which is one of trees in coastal zone. So, coastal engineering is involved in integrating the coastal zone management based on specific knowledge in hydro and morphodynamic of coastal system. The last subfield is transportation engineering. Transportation engineering is an application of technology in planning, designing, operation and management of facilities for our modes of transportation in order to provide a good, safe, comfortable and environmentally compatible movement for people and goods. Okay, now we go through to our assignment. The assignment were divided to four subfields of civil engineering, which are structural engineering, transportation and geotechnical, hydraulic and hydrology, and environmental engineering. The assignment were fairly divided to K1 and K2 students. Each section are divided to two assignments. For K1 student, they were given assignment about structural engineering and hydraulic and hydrology, while for K2 are about transportation and geotechnical and environmental enge engineering. The first assignment are structural engineering that, that need to be done by K1 student. From what we have discussed with our partnership, the assignment is they are required to calculate the total weight of a typical building. For my partnership, they calculate the total weight of building M48. In order to calculate the weight of the building, they need firstly to draw a sketch drawing of the building which shows the structural layout and the dimension. 
Then, to get the building's weight, they need to carry out approximate measurement of each part of building and calculate the weight of roof, slab, beam, wall and column based on the density of each materials. The second assignment is the environmental engineering that need to be done by K2 students. They need to answer the question that lecturer gave about the source of water, domestic water waste and how the management of rubbish or solid waste. This situation is based on students' neighbourhood. So, they need to know where the source water of their house, where the nearest water treatment plant and how much the water bill for a mine. Next, for domestic water waste, Students should know the system that been used and where the water from the sink or washing machine of their house go. For the management of solid waste, they should find when the workers will take the rubbish at their house. So, every places have different management. We will see the differences from each student assignment. The third assignment is about hydraulic and hydrology, which more focusing on coastal like Sungai Kelantan where erosion and deposition happen. The other assignment is about transportation engineering where we need to improvise road, transport and traffic system in school of engineering. Let's get more into it. Okay, so for the river mouth at Sungai Kelantan, it's now happening and erosion and deposition. It's blocking the navigation channel of boat to move in and out using the river. This problem should be solved so that the movement for the boat or ship becomes easier since there is no sediment blocking the entrance. Erosion in the context of soil and watershed conservation is the detachment and movement of soil particles by natural force, primarily water and wind. Deposition is the process by which sediment settles out of the water or wind that is carrying it and is deposited in a new location. How to solve the problem for this erosion and deposition? So, let me explain to you guys. The way that we took to overcome this problem is build a revetment and doing a dragging process. Dragging is the process of removal of sediment and debris from the bottom of the river to increase the depth of the navigation channel. Revetment is a passive structure which protects against erosion caused by wave action, storm, surge, and current. So, from the calculation that have been made, now, we can know where is the suitable position to place the revetment and undergo dragging process. The brown U-shaped block represents the revetment to occur. This revetment will make the green part to undergo erosion and the red part undergo deposition. Now, no more sediment will be deposited at the green part. The blue block represents the dragging to occur. The sediment at this part will be removed making the navigation channels depth more deeper. So now, no sediment will be deposited at the old location, but it will be deposited at a new location where it will not causing any problem to a user. So, this is the view of the boat or ship passing the navigation channel after dragging and build a revetment. Next assignment is about how to improve road and traffic or transport system at the School of Engineering. Based on our own opinion and knowledge, we require to list down our own logical idea to improving it. There are many ways to make the road and traffic system to be better than before. One of it is by place a speed bump at a junction where most traffic users using it. This makes the user, especially student and driver, to cross or go out from the particular junction to the main road easier. Other than that, we can make a lane special only for bus. This will help the bus to arrive on time at every bus stop, where the bus don't need to face the traffic jam, especially during peak hours. Besides that, pedestrian also is a traffic user. So, we need to prioritize them. As we know, most pedestrian walk is been ignored by people. So, we need to renovate the pedestrian walk with cover to ensure the student is not exposed to hot and rain. Moreover, it also makes the student to walk on the pedestrian walk and can avoid from any accident happen. Hi guys, let me briefly explain how we relate all four subfield 
in civil engineering that they have been told just now. For example, we want to explain the process in this area near the river. In order to obey the field of civil engineering, this indicates that the area is suitable for development. Here is a residential site that has been developed. A dam was built on high ground and this is suitable for water catchment. The water from the river will go to the water treatment plant. The water treatment plant was built near the dam for processing and treatment for local residents. The treated water will be delivered directly to the water tank and then go to the residential area for, for domestic use. Waste water from each house will be channeled to the sewer pipe to be taken to the sewer, sewage plant. After the processing, the waste water will go back to the river. While solid waste will be managed by the district council ridiculously and to collect all solid waste and be transported to the water disposal center for further processing to explain the structure in the of the building the resident house have follow the structure rules to make it stronger and safer not only that are the structures that are also built are schools fire station police station and so on last a revetment wall has been built here to prevent erosion while a jetty has built near the navigation channel for the convenience of fishermen in conclusion civil engineering is important as a role in our daily life we need to look at all aspects to ensure our safety all the subfield may have connection with each other to improve our life. Thus, all the subfield need to work together in a team to solve this problem that we may encounter in our daily life. Thank you.